Yoga at home, yoga at workplace. Ever wondered about yoga in space? A team of experts from the All India Institute of Medical Sciences have innovated something unique. They have developed an anti-gravity bodysuit that will allow astronauts to perform yoga in space. Now astronauts can keep healthy by practicing yoga while in space. The suit will help them strengthen muscles and prevent loss of bone density minerals. At present, no country in the world has this unique kind of body suit for astronauts which has the facility of grounding and loading. We reached out to Professor KK Deepak, head of physiology at Ames, who tells all about this anti-gravity yoga suit. This you require more in space uh, more than Earth. Why it is so? Because when you go to space, you lose your muscle activity because your body weight becomes zero. There is no ground, so you are not doing walking or grounding activity. You cannot perform yoga because there is no ground. Your body weight is not there. You are virtually floating. Therefore, the serious problem after return from space is a loss of uh, muscle function nearly 20 percent uh, about uh, two months or three months time and also loss of uh, mineral density in the bones bones become uh, weak they become weak as weak as like an old person therefore the person when they come there's a chance that that they will have fracture and they cannot walk for one one or two weeks uh, they cannot stand up it's a serious uh, handicap they become a healthy person has gone but when he returns he becomes almost like a patient uh, for lying uh, sitting on the bed for some weeks therefore uh, idea was uh, that they should be facilitated to perform yoga in space but how to do that that has been a problem is uh, still a problem how to load your bones and muscles although there are several exercises are prescribed but none is 100 percent successful and to perform yoga you need a ground you perform yoga you need body weight when you perform a body activity with reference to ground you can perform body activity with reference the body but there's no weight available like my my hand becomes a zero weight my body becomes a zero weight so therefore that's why we designed a special body gear which loads your body by loading this body it gives you weight it uh, in adjustable manner 20 percent 30 percent 40 or even more so this uh, and this also provides there's a concept of the ground therefore there's a floor on which you can walk uh, because there's a velcro and magnetic floor is available Therefore, this uh, suit is very, very, uh, what should be very, very useful and whenever people from India or abroad, they go to sojourn in space or even a Mars or, or, uh, or uh, in moon, when the gravity is much, much lower than uh, in Delhi. Uh, and it will be very useful for muscle loading and strengthening their bones. So ISU has been doing wonderful activities. They have come up with the program HSP Human Space uh, Program. And in 2020 January and much before that, uh, there was a meeting held in ISO headquarters. I was invited uh, there. We presented our uh, uh, protocols and uh, this thing. They were very much impressed and uh, they are uh, in a mission mode they perform. Later on, they conducted an international conference. We uh, were again invited and we presented nine papers from our lab, single laboratory presenting nine papers in one of the international conference organized by ISO. So we, uh, I had meeting with uh, uh, group meetings with the ISO officials and they are very good at it. And uh, the human space programs uh, is a future. So we are very promising perhaps in the future this comes up uh, for this. Normally these programs are long lasting uh, and they should enter in a mission mode. So this is yet to en enter in a mission mode. We've been performing isolated uh, research in space physiology and in in space physiology and environment physiology lab where you're sitting right over here. And this we have been doing for nearly a decade. We have completed more than a dozen of uh, projects and we have published extensively uh, in this uh, matter and we have been performing both simulation countermeasures and their effects on autonomic their effect on vascular vascular the effect on uh, muscle functions and so on and so forth now it's all depends on when the india enters and in start sending in a hsp human space program and uh, india in a big way that i'm hearing from the news uh, that uh, we're planning 
uh, various mission but it takes long time for any country it takes uh, long time so it's very unpredictable when uh, the suit will go and in what form and other thing as of now we are doing trials on earth we are doing earth experimentation we are trying to simulate some kind of a uh, microgravity situation which can be uh, done on earth you know with whatever limitations we have but however i see the future is very promising but in future different kind of space suits are very very important and they should be especially when the demand will go up when general population including some of the patient might would like to go for the sojourn or a vacation trip to the uh, space uh, and they would certainly require the way they live on earth so that they will live on earth if i'm doing yoga on earth i would like to do yoga on a space for maintaining my health i had uh, we had a mou with uh, ucsd uh, in 2016 and uh, that um, again help thankful to the government of india government of india gave a call in 2015 uh, prime minister modi gave a call that uh, indian university should have collaboration with the us universities under that i wrote a letter to UC ucsd Uh, why UCSD? Because US, UCSD used one of our innovation way back in 1992 for their NASA experimentation. So they responded very quickly, and they responded. So I visited uh, UCSD twice and uh, presented our, uh, uh, what work we are doing, and they were very much impressed uh, with this. Uh, uh, in one of the conferences, uh, again I had a meeting with um, a German space agency, um, and also the two uh, people, the director from there. Uh, they uh, uh, talked to me and they were very much impressed uh, with the idea in 2016 2017 it was an idea in a prototype but now it will go a lot of work has been done now and we have already published extensively <music> yoga in healthcare is it's a big equation now and especially after the international day of yoga thanks to the government of india and uh, prime minister modi the way it has come up it, there's a huge response now yoga in health should be seen as a yoga for positive health predictive health and diseases it has a major role in promoting the health or increasing your fitness level again i happen to be chairman of uh, fit india mission protocols and guidelines committee where we have included 15 minutes of yoga for Uh, healthy individuals so uh, is both school children also for middle age group and elderly people so yoga is a big way in reducing the cost of the health care system it will increase your fitness level to the next high level therefore you do not suffer and also during the covid we have seen that how fitness is important therefore the yoga is very very important in the health care system it has come up in a big way i've been doing research in yoga for last 30 years several diseases we have reported and also both in health conditions we focus as a physiologist what is the mechanism of yoga how yoga is beneficial for respiratory system for cardiac system for other systems so our duty have we been performing by deciphering the mechanism the hardcore mechanism which has been missing for several years this is the reason yoga was not used by the west because where is the evidence where is the evidence co evidence available we are generating evidence so yoga is very very useful for healthcare systems and now helpfully and thankfully it is coming up in a big way most of the aims are having uh, ayush building where all other systems including yoga uh, would be used for both research and patient care and also in teaching and i must inform the house in a uh, department we have been teaching yoga classes for undergraduate year undergraduate for more than four decades much before i came and joined this institute so yoga is being taught in a formal way in the formal lectures uh, at least in two lectures uh, in this uh, whole uh, class uh, whole year and it was a very good move so yoga is very useful for both health fitness level also in patient care Thank you for watching. Stay tuned with PBNS for more stories on India's breakthrough developments in the health tech sector.